All right, guys, so in this video, I'm just going to go over one example of um, doing a geometric probability. I didn't really know what to call this. I call it with more possibilities. Um, we've looked at problems that said um, a geometric probability on the first success um, or your first success on a certain trial. Well, these, these are geometric probabilities in which you have um, your first success on one of n trials. And this is a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to do it both um, by hand and then also um, using the calculator and using the TI Inspire. So um, let's take a look at this one example here. And I'm just going to do this one example. If you want more examples, we'll take a look at more in class. Uh, or you can uh, put some comments and I'll try to do a few more. So a basketball player has made 70% of his foul shots during the season. Assuming the shots are independent, find the probability that in tonight's game, he makes his first basket on one of his first six shots. So in this case, he doesn't make his first basket on the fifth shot. He makes his first basket on one of the first six shots. So um, we know that the probability of success is 70%. So the probability of success is 70%. And the probability of failure, um, 1 minus P, which I, I label as Q, is going to be 30 percent. All right, so um, here are the thing. Here's the thing. We've got a few possibilities, right? He can make his first basket on on the first shot. He can make his first basket on the second. Uh, let me erase that. Okay. So he can make it on the first shot. He can make it on the second shot on the third, on the fourth, on the fifth, or on the sixth, right? So um, what's the probability that he makes it on the first shot? Well, so we're using geometric probabilities, and we're going we're gonna to find the geometric probability of each of these possibilities, and then these are all ors, right? He can make it on the first, or on the second, or on the third, or on the fourth, or on the fifth, or on the sixth. We're going to add them all together. So let's do the geometric let's first do the probability that makes it on his first shot so it makes it on the first shot the pro the probability of that is 70 percent okay he just makes it on the second shot the probability of that is well he misses the first and makes the second on the third shot would be that he misses the first two and makes the last the third one the fourth, fourth shot would be that he misses the first three shots and makes the fourth one. On the fifth shot would mean that he misses the first four shots and makes it on the fifth one. And then finally, he misses the first five shots but makes it on the sixth one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all of these probabilities up together and that should give us the total probability that he will make his first basket on one of the first six shots. All right, so let's pull up the calculator here. All right, so we've got our calculator here. And what I'm going to do is, oops, oops, uh, I'm going to enter in all of this stuff, right, so that we can see what, uh, what this probability is. Okay, so... Um, let's go ahead with uh, 0.7 plus 0.3 times 0.7 plus 0.3 squared times 0.7 plus 0.3 to the third times 0.7 plus 0.3 to the fourth times 0.7 plus 0.3 to the fifth times 0.7 and we get 0 0.999271 okay so 0 0 0.999271 all right well he's definitely definitely it seems like he's going to make his first shot on the first one of the first six shots now how do we do this in the calculator to make this? We don't have to do this in a long time because what if I ask the question, 
um, what is the probability he makes his first basket on the first 20 shots? Well, I don't want to have to write this all out to the 20th time. Okay, I want to be able to do this a little bit, a little bit, a little bit easier. Um, so I'm going to use the calculator to, to show me how to do to, to do that for me. And what we're going to do is we're going to do menu probability distributions. And we're going to go to geometric CDF. CDF, I think, means cumulative. That's um, uh, that's what I've, I kind of think. I usually that's the way I remember it, and the reason I remember it is cumulative because it it's cumulative. It adds all of the ones up from one to six in this case. Okay, so my probability of success is 0 0.7. So I'm going to put 0 0.70. My lower bound is one. My lower bound is the number of um, the number of, of shots um, that I want to make. Within my upper bound is the number of shots that I'm going to shoot. Okay, so my lower bound is the number of um, you know is my lower bound is my, my first one is one right and the first shot, and then my upper bound is the sixth shot, the last shot. So now if I said what's probably makes his first between the third and the sixth. Then I would put three and six. Okay, all right. So um, I hit okay, and I get the same answer. Okay. So again, that that lower bound is the first shot. The upper bound is the sixth shot. If I wanted to know between the fourth and the sixth shot, I would have been four and six. Okay. So that's using geometric CDF in your calculator to calculate the geometric probability when you have more possibilities than just um, on a certain on a certain track. All right? Okay, that's it. Thanks. Bye.